Believe Nation. Tuesday is my YouTube day. It's been it's been a pretty crazy day. Uh, making content, making espresso videos for you guys, and we've got a little bit of time. We've got 12 minutes. So see what kind of value we can bring in 12 minutes. Let me just. Hey Cyrus, welcome aboard. You guys have questions? Let me know. Pop in the chat. I like I like putting. So once I finish my coffee, I like putting water in it. It's just water, but it's just got that little little taste of coffee, little smell, you know? I don't know. I, I like it. It makes me feel good. Uh, after 2 o'clock, no caffeine because it, it keeps you up. Corrado in the house. Welcome, Corrado. If you, if you guys haven't followed Corrado, uh, he'll surprise you with the occasional late night uh, dance party <laughs> that he streams live on YouTube as well as uh, here on Instagram. So <laughs> there was a surprise. Like, oh, Corrado's live. What's he doing? Then it then you just see him bouncing with a green screen behind them. Anyway, I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, guys, we got we got 11 minutes together. Let's see what you got. Give me some questions. Try to bring as much value as I can. Karada saying ha ha ha. All right, what do we got? Uh, Coop reads, how, how can I excel at debates and public speaking? So the two things I would do is one, consume lots of content around how to be a better speaker. So there's, I've done a bunch of videos on it. Uh, other people have done videos on it. Some, one, of the most, one of the more popular videos on my channel, I want to say it's like in my top 20 popular videos, is about effective communication. So I'd be looking at, uh, looking at all those and then diving deeper into those channels. So if somebody says something about communication that resonates with you, go, go look at their videos, their audios. I think, I think being able to see it and hear it is your best bet. I think you'll get a lot more than from reading books. It's just harder to model. If you wanted to be a writer, then, then books are great. But if you want to be a speaker, I think you have to see it and hear it. So I would default to video primarily so you can even see their body language and then audio secondary. And then the second thing I would do is practice. Like up until, I don't know when you're going to be doing your debate or your speech, but you should go live on Instagram every single day. You should make videos on YouTube every single day. You should practice every single day to get better at the thing. Uh, those two things, modeling success and then practicing make you much more effective at speaking. It's take, it can take a long time. You, you might pick it up super quick. I know for me, it took me a long time to get good. Uh, but it's the everyday practice to get better at it. Uh, how can I get rid of my shyness? Uh, I don't think you need to necessarily. You know, I'm, I'm a super shy person. I think it's more, what do you want to move towards instead of what do you want to get rid of? What do you want to move towards? What do you want to be more? Because you can be more of whatever you want. Like if you want to, if you want to build your network, for example, and you feel like your shyness is preventing you from building your network, then you can go build your network being a shy person. You can practice. You can practice the skill to help you get to where you want to go instead of running away. Just like if you want to be an entrepreneur, people. If you want to be an entrepreneur to, because you're running away from a job that you don't like. That's not a good enough reason to be an entrepreneur. You have to be moving towards something. Those are the entrepreneurs who fail. The ones who say, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to work for a boss anymore. I don't want to uh, work nine to five anymore. It's like you're only focusing on what you don't want anymore. Instead, you have to be working towards something better. So, so instead of worrying about the shyness, what do you want to create for yourself? What are you working towards? Focus on developing the skills to help get you there because it's totally doable. Antonio, let's go in the house. What's been in your mind lately? What self question you've been thinking about? Uh, wow, a lot. Um, I just did. So we just had you know a funeral in the family, which was a ton of pressure, uh, emotional pressure and stress, and that's been a culmination of you know a couple months of, of pressure and stress. Uh, so you know the shortness of life and and all of that. Um, I also spoke at Genius Network's annual event, which is a three-day event, ten thousand dollar ticket, and I was training for. Uh, I don't know how long. How long was I on for? I don't remember. Anyway, um, this is an event where you have to have at least a million dollars in uh, revenue to be part of, and people pay between ten and a hundred thousand dollars to be a part of it. Uh, and so, just pushing bigger, got some new ideas that I want to work on. Um, so there's been a lot. There's been a lot on my mind. I think if I had to summarize them, though, I'd say one, just the you know, shortness of life on the family side and then on the business side, focusing on who, 
who can help you do the things that you want to do. I think at the beginning, so here's the thing. I think it's super valuable for entrepreneurs. You have to go from why to how to who. Okay, if you want to grow. Why to how to who. So at the beginning, you've got, you've got a big idea, right? Um, why is it so important that you start doing something, right? Like getting, over, getting over that uh, initial fear of getting it out there, of creating momentum. Like the beginning, the biggest thing missing for most people is just momentum. So remembering why. Remember why it's so important to you. Super helpful to get the momentum going. Once you have a deep why, like once you feel connected to the why, like, no, this has to happen. It's so important that I'm going to overcome my insecurities and fears and judgments and I'm going to make it, right? The why. Then it goes to the how. So it's the how to actually get the thing done. How do I do it, right? Because you, you didn't go to school for it and you weren't trained for it and you, you don't have family members who are doing it. So you got to do the how. You got you to create, you got to understand that I can make this happen. How do I do it? And I'm going to go up and start. And that's the beginning of every successful business. And then the scale, you need to move to who, right? Why to how to who? You got to move to the who, which is how do I, uh, who are the people who's going to help me do this? Because at the beginning, we, we, we are the how, we how everything, uh, which is fantastic. But then it's a solo entrepreneurship kind of business where if you want to really go big, you got to think who is the person who's going to help me? So, so why to how to who? I've been thinking a lot about it. And so we're at about 30 people right now in my company. And, and a good chunk of things still falls on me to get done. So I'm still thinking about the why is done. I, I'm playing in the, in the how to who range. And I need to, play, I need to move a little closer to the who range and less to the how range. Because I'll just how everything. But it doesn't, it, it's, it's fulfilling in that it allows me to feel great about myself or taking on new things that I didn't know how to do before. But it also will slow down my uh, my growth because it means I'm doing everything. So, so depending on where you are at, you know, why to how to who. Good question, Antonio. Uh, what else? What do we got? Nilu Far. How should I be motivated? What kind of motivation is there at all? Um, at the start, is understand that your you know your purpose comes from your pain. Whatever you struggled with is what you want to help other people through. And understanding that there's millions of people right now who, who are stuck with the thing that you used to be stuck with. And trying to remember that and tap into that, that you could solve the problem for them. That you represent hope and inspiration. That you could be... A lot of people don't see a way out. And you, you got out compared to where you used to be. People look at you as an inspiration. And most people don't see that. You don't think of yourself as an inspiration. But if you look at to who you were five or ten years ago, if, if ten, like what year is it now, 2020? If, if, if 2000 you looked towards 20, no, 2010 you looked towards 2020 you, you'd be pretty inspired, right? Like look at how much you've grown and learned and gotten better and started and improved and impacted compared to where you used to be. So there's lots of people who currently are 2010 you and they would see you as an inspiration. So it's, it's you being able to see yourself as that inspiration because they need your voice and need your, they need your hope. Um, the other thing that really helps is being around, being around the things that make you feel better about yourself, right? The videos, the IG lives, the inspiration, the books, the podcasts. What are the things that make you feel more motivated? And then be around that more. Where too many times the people that we hang out with and the videos that we watch, just do an audit. Like how many, how many of the people that you talk to today or the videos that you watched or the Instagram content you consumed, did you leave feeling more motivated? And for, for too many people, it's no. I, I talked to them and then I felt less motivated. They reminded me of all the reasons why I can't do it. Or I watched that video and I felt worse about myself, right? So when you can be aware of that, that's why I try to create uplifting, positive motivation content because I want you to leave my stuff feeling a little more motivated to go off and do the next thing. Uh, and so just audit where you're spending your time and what you're consuming and how much it makes you feel motivated or less motivated. Make sense? Uh, Nina, wanted to thank you for your inspiring energy and network. I called David Meltzer for his advice. All right. I love, I love David. David is definitely one of the good guys. And um, uh, yeah, if, if you love his stuff, he's got a lot of content out there as well. 
web network why did you start for yourself um, I didn't want to regret not trying you know when I was my first business when I was 19 years old like my first real business I did a bunch of baseball cards and stuff when I was younger but um, 19 years old either take the 100k dream job uh, or start or I didn't start the business be a part of a business and take 30% of it um, I just didn't want to live with regret I thought, you know what, I could always go and get another job, but I didn't know if I'd ever be the chance to be an entrepreneur again. And I didn't want to look back in 10 years and say, I wish I'd, I wish I did this. You know, I wish I took that shot. So, yeah, I didn't. Also, you know, this is 20 years ago. People weren't entrepreneurs as much as they are now, right? It wasn't a, a career path for most people, so a little different. But uh, yeah, just I didn't just imagine yourself in 20 years or 40 years or 60 years looking back and you not being proud that you didn't do the difficult thing. Uh, we got one minute. OK, let's get one more question in. Uh, what do we got? Last question. How do I start without having fear? This is the mindset shift you need to make. It's not about having no fear. It's about doing it despite the fear. Like if you have no fear, that means you already know exactly what to do. Therefore, you're just photocopying your life and you hate the next day because there's no variety, right? You, the, what you need to trick yourself into is not that I'm going to get started without having fear. It's that I feel the fear and I'm going to do it because of. Not even that I'm going to fear it anyway. It's that I'm going to do it because of. Because I'm afraid, therefore I must do it, right? Whenever you hear yourself, like, don't allow fear. You've, you've allowed fear to be the reason, an acceptable reason for you not to take action. And that's what needs to change. You're afraid of it, therefore you do it. Especially when the fear is other people's judgments or opinions. It can't be a good enough reason for you not to take action. Not anymore. Not for you. Not today. Guys, thank you for the love. Appreciate you. Back on tomorrow. Happy Tuesday.